Hey dudes, welcome back for part two of our Small Land Survive the Wilds playthrough. I really enjoyed what I experienced in the first hour, so I'm here for more. A lot of you guys uh, left comments in the first video as well. Thank you so much for that, you know, requesting to see more as well. So let's go ahead and see what kind of madness we can get into today. Thank you for all the love you leave on this series. Really appreciate it, considering that, you know, I am very much so interested in a variety of games and you guys are very supportive of that of that and i appreciate it so much thank you for joining our community here thank you for being a part of all this thank you for all the likes and comments let's do this thing right at the end of the first part i fought a couple of bees i fought some ladybugs and ants and stuff this sword is actually really solid so i'm really excited about that now now that we are a little more established here i don't think i'm going to continue building in this spot exactly but what I can do is go out there, collect fiber, make sure that we have plenty of healing stuff. Speaking of, I should probably heal up a little bit. My health is low. And uh, just kind of explore around and see what we can do to, you know, gain power, craft better things. And make our way to fight the rhino beetle down here in the south area. Looks like maybe it's on a beach. No, I don't want that there. So, let's go out there. Let's go get some fiber and stuff. Just so that we are well equipped and well off also fighting the bees wasn't too bad especially uh you know when we were able to take them out from range with a bow it was actually really solid let's gather some of these some of these strawberries so we can keep our food up gonna need to make a new axe here in a little while as well Oh, you know what? Let me let me see about going to the workbench and seeing if, if I can just repair this, if it's free, or if I need to bring resources to repair it as well. I've played so many survival games that I've seen a variety of systems as far as repairing goes. Let's see. Repair. Repair the hatchet. Okay, it requires fiber and wood to do so. Only basic maintenance required, no resource costs, okay. This one requires wood and resin. Yeah, so as long as it's not too badly damaged, it's no resource cost, which is kind of nice. That's cool. Close this, let's get back out there. So if I play it well, if I play it smart, then I can, you know, get out there and be pretty minimal about it. Let me move these over a little bit. Torch is on eight. That's fine by me. What is this? Insect sting. Oh, right, from a bee. All right, let's go. Let's get our food up. I didn't want to do that. Eat one of those as well. Honey crumbles. Let's get more strawberries going. If we keep our food above that line that you see in the bottom left, that blue bar, that is our nourishment bar. As long as we keep the food above that line there, looks about two-thirds, then we'll just kind of naturally regenerate health, which is pretty big. Very reminiscent of how it works in Minecraft as well. There we are. Grab some resin while we're here. What do we have here? These flowers. These look like I can chop them down. Oh, I need a crude hatchet. That's the mauve plants. The mauve. Is it mauve or mauve? I want to say mauve, actually. Oh, that is a wasp. Or is it a yellow jacket? Either way, I'm going to fight it and hope that I can take it out. Wish me luck. <laughs> it's scary, man. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Got him. Oh, I hit him with that heavy attack right at the last second. Oh, man. That thing is tough. But we got him. Eat some of these. Use one of these guys. Get the nourishment up a little more, too. 
Okay, hey, we took out that. Uh, I, I didn't actually see what it was. I think it was a yellow jacket. Let's take the stinger. Man, that was nuts. We got him. It started off really well for me. And then, okay, there's there's another one right there. It started off really well, and then it went south because I kept missing my attacks. This water doesn't look healthy. Are these poisonous too? They are. I'm not sure what we can use this for, but... I guess we'll grab them just to have them. I am not in a position to fight that uh, that next one over there either, so I'm going to avoid that. What I really need is to find more fiber. That's the, that's the big thing I need. Fiber, so I can make more stuff with it. Right, there's a bull ant right there. Taking out one of those would be beneficial to me as well. I'm going for it. Wish me luck. It's a whole nest right there, by the way. Oh, you already see me. Okay. Well, that sucks for me. Okay. Okay. You know what, guys? Not bad. We are kiting this guy like crazy. Let's finish with the sword here. Wait for him to come at me, and then we heavy attack. Okay, too early. Ouch. But it's fine. We got him. We got an ant head, but no... No... Uh, what is it that we need? The horn for it? I didn't get that, unfortunately. But hey, uh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad taking that out. The bow is a great intro to taking out enemies. You hit them with a few arrows and it does some really great damage. Oh, one of these guys. I'm not sure how strong... Oh, Sawyer Beetle. I'm not sure how tough they are. Very. And they're fast, too. You know, it's, uh, it's less than half health now. Oh, that missed. Unfortunate. <laughs> Let's get the high ground on him. I missed. That was a critical hit. Come here. Come here. Oh, we got some chitin out of that. That's big. Big. Okay, I know where to get that then. Though those are... Man, that's a tough fight. That's a really tough fight. Let's eat a couple of these strawberries. Keep our health regen going. And we'll chop down more while we're here. We freed up this territory, so we should be able to take all of these here. It's going to be a minute to take them all, but I'm fine with it. Okay, so the bow is actually really large. It, it, and again, I have to say, this plays a lot like an MMO. The way I'm kiting the enemies like that and just kind of repeatedly hitting them with arrows and then finishing them off with melee when they're low health. That's how I would play a lot of MMOs early on game's playing a lot like that. It's kind of cool. After this, we might have right around a dozen strawberries, which will be nice for a while. Not finding a whole lot of fiber in the area, though. I was hoping that chopping these down would give me some fiber, too. But it's just the strawberries themselves. I really like the ones that give me two. Those are great. More of those, please. What I'm really waiting for now as well is now that we've seen bees, we've seen yellow jackets or wasps or whatever they are, 
We've seen these uh, grasshoppers. I'm wondering where the spiders are. You know what's going to happen before long. And you know they're going to be terrifying. Wait, how many did we get there? We got 14. That's really nice. Let's munch on one here. Okay, I need fibrous material. This looks like a spot a spider would be. Okay, there's a, an ant in the wall. That's the second time I've seen that. We saw that in first part, too. So that's a thing. All right, some fibers. Oh, hey. Oh, you're not even aggressive. Mr. Bull Ant, are you awake? Okay, uh, it's really weird. Some of these guys are just really strange in how they work. Oh, I was hoping I could cancel his attack again. All right, he's at the end of his leash right here. Okay, so instant feedback right here is they need to not make the actual leashing of the enemies so easy to manipulate. Because basically I can just keep playing it like that where I just run them to the end of their actual area leash, if that makes sense. And then they just kind of stand there and let me hit them. That range needs to be either increased or they need to make it so that you know they can still interact beyond that point because otherwise it just kind of makes it free how many arrows do i have left 64 so the arrows go a long way well, this looks ominous let's check it out take my hand come with me stone need a mandibular pickaxe or better I need to kill more bull ants in order to actually get the mandibles. I've only killed two, and neither of them dropped mandibles for me. So this is where we would get stone, I guess. Nothing else in here but the stone. Any more bull ants around? I want the pickaxe. That's why I'm trying to find them and go, you know, take their material. I didn't get one without realizing it, did I? Nope. Definitely not. Okay, we have some regular ants. Oh yeah, this sword owns these guys. Absolutely owns them. Big. Okay, before my stuff does fall apart, I should make a workbench. Need to find a good spot to kind of make a base though. Where, where even am I on the map? Yeah, I think, I think we're in a pretty decent vicinity. I just need to clear it out of enemies. Instant kill. Okay, are you, are you at the end of your leash already? Yeah, this sword is actually really great against these ants. It owns them. It owns them. I guess it just depends on if these ants can respawn. There's a whole bunch of bull ants right there. Looks like there's several on that entire hillside up there, actually. Might not be a bad place to settle down right here. But getting across here will be a problem. I wonder if we can make a bridge. Bridge the gap. 
Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, other friend. Lots of friends around here. We're taking all of their skulls. Thank you kindly. Oh, hey, I actually think I know where I am. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. We're near Kalev. Maybe I go speak to him while we're in the vicinity. There's a grasshopper over there. Is there anything in this? Nope. Okay. I was ready to dive in that cave, man. I should have made the sword so much so much sooner. Where is Mr. Kalev over there? Okay. Okay, man. Relax. Relax, buddy. No, no, no. I need you to embrace the sword, man. Embrace the way of the sword. We find bugs limps, man. We need those. You know what I should do is just put those right there. Hot keys are great. More ants? Oh yeah, this axe is not long for this world. I think that might be the last thing I chopped down with it. All right, we should have a friend nearby. What's this? You got all sorts of stuff over here, man. Hello, Vanguard. I am Corporal Kalev Stein. What are you doing here? I am responsible for escorting and protecting small folk miners. What's that armor you're wearing? It's one I made myself using rocks I found in the mine. It's incredibly durable and provides great protection against the creatures you may encounter in the shore. Speaking of which, Scotty has also fashioned some remarkable armor using resources from that area. So, this stuff right here, using stone, fiber, and resin it looks like, against stuff on the shore, which is the rhino beetle. The rhino beetle is on the shore, so this is really nice. So this is the order of operations in which we need to do things. I definitely need to get the mandib mandibular claw going. That's what I need. Mandibular claw. Let me talk to you a little more. What else do you have? What happened here? Why is no one working the mine? A tragedy. One of the tunnels collapsed and most of the miners perished. The mining operations are on hold for now. Do you know anything about stone working? I know a thing or two. To work stone, you'll need to find a cutter cutter grinder. We don't have the resources to make a proper one up here, but you may be able to create a makeshift cutter grinder using some of the giant's artifacts like bottle caps and screws. There needs to be an E there. That's a small typo. Where can I find these? Bottle caps are often found on sandy shores near washed up bottles. Screws you also find near some giant's artifacts. What else can I make with a cutter grinder? You can use it as a grinder to make seed oil out of the seeds or sand wood to obtain refined wood. Heck, you could even cut flint and craft new weapons and tools. Can I harvest these stones? Sure, but you need a pickaxe. Those are expensive and we're not just handing them out. You might be able to make one yourself, though. You see, some of these ants, the red ones, have surprisingly strong mandibles. If you can get one of those, you can bring it to a workbench and try to make yourself a pickaxe from it. That would be useful. Where should I look for these red ants? They're in and around the entire forest, but after we shut down the mining operations, some of them moved into the lower portion of the mine just north of here. Be careful, though. There might be more in there than you can handle. Thanks, I will. Right, so, there are some in the vicinity. In the mine. Maybe we can set up a little bit of a... A little bit of a camp here. Where can I get into the mine? I mean, there's one now. I need to fix my bow, however. Uh, 
All right, repair. Just repair everything. It's fine. All right, craft. Fruit hatchet, I need one more chitin. And then mandibular pickaxe, I just need a, a bow and mandible. That's all I need. Still haven't found a whole lot of fiber, but it's fine. We'll find, we can go hunting for that whenever. Let me see how you react to this, sir. Not at all. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to fall there. That's not ideal. We just got two mandibles. That is what we call big. All right, we got what we wanted. Now we can find all sorts of stone in the area. The issue is, is getting back up. The game really wants me to fall down. Oh man, no way. That is heavily unfortunate. Oh, that, that, that is extremely unfortunate, in fact. We're very far away from that. Okay, let's make our way over there. We're just going to run it. We're not going to stop to fight anything. I still have my sword, though. At least there's that. That's a very angry ladybug. A ladybug of the nights. Very angry. Unfortunate spot to fall. I don't know why, but my character was just, like, gravitating towards that hole in the side there wouldn't let me like walk away from it um that is spiders or no they're dawn ants they look like spiders oh my god they're so fast sirs please leave me alone I am once again asking you to let me live. Ow. My god, they're fast and relentless. And there's bees and a grasshopper. I don't think I live this, guys. Oh god. Oh, God. Now the bees. Not the bees. Yeah, once the bees get on you, you don't really survive. They're so fast. Did I do it? Well, I'm alive. Barely. What's really weird is when you get really low health, you can't really hear much of anything else. You just hear your heartbeat and your character breathing. Not much else goes on. You can't hear the bugs walking after you. You can't hear the wind blowing. Oh, one of those guys. Well, this is the direction I need to go, and those things are pretty quick, too. What are these? Edible mushrooms? Sucks I can't use the sword to chop them down. There's fireflies about. What's really weird as well is I'm having a, an actual hard time finding fiber. Maybe I could go back to where I first spawned in the game, go that way. There's a whole bunch of fiber there. I guess that kind of makes sense. We just go back there and grab as much as we want. It seemed pretty plentiful out that way. Oh, here's some. Something's alive right there. Am I suddenly in combat? What's the combat music about?
I don't feel safe. Okay, we're in the vicinity. I remember this, this little post right here. You guys think my character's hurt? <laughs> okay, now is my gravestone going to be up top or down below? That's the question here. I think there's dawn ants around. There it is right there. I'm going for it. Take all. Use this. Eat some strawberries. Oh, look at that health regen. It's gorgeous. Okay, these dawn ants are right here, and I am scared. What I need to do is try to pick one off. Oh, I'm not sure how much health they have. Okay, there's at least three right here. I'm in a pretty bad spot because there's a bunch down there, too. I, I count six. Seven. Yeah, there's seven of them down there. That's not good. And there's at least three right here on this little ledge. Huh. And we can't go in the water. The water will kill us. We cannot swim. We are not swimmers. I need to go that path right there and then up this way. Or maybe I can sneak up on this. Okay. I was really hoping for just the one, but it wasn't just the one. I gotta go. I gotta go, man. No, oh, these guys are quick. Maybe I can abuse the leash a little bit. Oh, no, they just... <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hey, how you doing? You hit me. Rude. And more ants. My God. The world is plentiful with ants. Stop it. Stop it. All right, where'd that third one go? Running from the arms of one ant to the arms of three ants. Oh my god. Not cool, man. Where do these guys even come from? I want one of them. Oh, a little too low. Gotcha. And it dropped absolutely nothing for me. Oh, man. Rough. Well, fighting, fighting one of them isn't bad. It's when they outnumber me is when it gets pretty bad. Anyways, let's go make our mandibular pickaxe. Sir. Sir, what you're doing right now is not nice.
It is not very cash money of you, sir. Ow. Please consider not. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No. Okay, I need to be more confident with my sword because my god, the sword actually owns them. I just get so afraid. Anyways, uh, mandibular pickaxe. There we go. Job's done. Job is done. Let's repair our things. Now we need to make space in our inventory for other stuff. A beetle heart, huh? Can I make a shield? No shield. Ladybug travel kit. Special treat to tame a ladybug, as well as backpacks designed to attach to their forewings, providing additional storage for the ladybug to carry. Nice. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can make a storage chest. Right there. Gorgeous. Let's put away some ant heads. Insect fat, a whole bunch of the resin. Bottle cap. Insect fur. The mandibles. Stings. Chitin. And the armor set. Everything else can stay. Now the next big thing is harvesting some stone down here while there's ants around. I guess there's some up here we can go after. Let me put this where the number four is. I can't actually go after these ones, can I? Oh, that, that, here we go. Getting enough stone specifically to make this armor set will be big. Alright, so it's the lighter ones that have the capability of being harvested. Pickaxe actually seems to last a little while, too, which is kind of nice. Alright, no more harvestable ones over there. Let's hit the workbench, do a repair on it, and then... Let's take out this guy. The sneaky headshot. Are you actually stuck? The bull ant was stuck. Gorgeous. Thank you for the mandible as well. What a nice guy. Okay, I think I take out this one too, just so we have a clear path back up. I also noticed that there was some edible mushrooms that popped up in the nights. Need to consider that. Oh god, I missed. Yeah, they're worth just tanking. So the, it looks like they're dropping mandibles like crazy for me now. I think it was just the first couple that I killed that were very stingy. They seem more common than not now. All right, there's a couple of them down there, and they both see me now. If my health wasn't so low, I'd go for it. The sneak attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't miss. He doesn't miss, guys. Oh, you drop more mandibles. Yeah, they're more common than not, which is nice. 
I'm hearing more down here in these rocks right here. Maybe there's like a nest right there or something. Where is this other one? There was two of them. Oh, there you are. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. I missed again. Right after I had that big talk about how I don't miss, I miss a lot. That's the good stuff right there. Was there another one? No, I think there's just like spawn points for them. They're, they're also down there in the mines. Like in the actual path right there. Sounds like I can hear them from that way. to grab as much stone as we can here before it gets dark and then you know we need to go gather a bunch of other stuff what i should do as well uh, i need to collect enough wooden fiber to make a a place to live some shelter because i think we'll be able to sleep through the night which will make life a lot easier because the night is dark and full of terrors okay hello mr ants Okay. So I can straight up just melee them, but that's pretty dangerous. And I am also officially out of strawberry. Need more strawberries. I don't recall how much stone we actually need. Though, of course, maybe we can get some extra and we'll be able to craft some other tools out of it, too. That'd be great. Okay, we got almost all of it up here. I'm just going to take it all. As long as I have inventory space, I'm just going to keep taking it. How much do I have on me? We have 39. That's enough to make the armor set, I believe, but I'm just going to keep going. Just in case we can end up making tools out of it, too. It'll be nice to have on hand instead of having to come to harvest more. Always grab a little bit extra. We got some more there. Okay. I kind of want to see what's actually down in the mine. But we're going to have to come back and do that later when I'm <laughs> better prepared. He, he gave me a, a bit of a warning. We might not be ready, to, you know, for what's down there. And I'm definitely not. I agree. I don't have enough healing stuff. I need to make more arrows. And maybe even a little bit of a better weapon. Now that this sword is bad by any means, it's treating me very well at this point in the game. If I can make a stone sword or something. And also maybe tame a ladybug. That could be cool. Kind of feel like I'm playing RuneScape right now. Pickaxe should be able to withstand these last three rocks. Been lasting a long time. Or maybe it's going to break on this last one. It's okay. I have plenty of these mandibles. Oh, it lived. It lived. Can I actually use this? Oh, there's a bottle cap in here. Nice. Okay, let's head back and uh, take count of what we need for fiber and wood or whatever else that we need for this armor set. Oh, I missed some rocks right there, too. That's all right. How much do I have? We have 79. We're, we're doing just fine. We have way more than what we actually need right now.
Alright, for the sake of keeping regen going. Let's see, repair. Resin, wood, and fiber to repair this. Yeah, I don't have anything as far as actual stone stuff goes here, but there is chitin stuff. We have the crude hatchet. So there is that. So now we need to go find fiber. We need lots of fiber. Let me actually talk to this guy and see how much we're going to need for stone, just to be certain that we have enough. Okay, yeah, we have plenty of stone for this set. This is fine. Uh, fiber, we need 3, 6, 12, and math, 21. We need 21 total fiber, and then we, we need a bunch of resin as well, but the resin is easy. So we need 21 fiber for this alone. Not to mention the amount of fiber I need for everything else in life in this game. So. So. We can go back over here to the east towards uh, Ernest and the Elder. There was a bunch of fiber that way, so I kind of want to go... I want to go that way. And try to find some more. I don't think it's a bad idea. What about you? Also, guys, let me know what you think of this... Uh, what do you think of this game? Right now, uh, this game is giving me a mix between Grounded and Valheim vibes. The, the reason I say Valheim is because of... It looks like, uh, you know, like the, when you die, the gravestones are there and you have to go collect your gravestone. I, you know, I've seen that in a few other games as well, but that, like in, in a survival game, that's most notably a Valheim thing. So th there's that. And then grounded because you're a small person in a... in a very large <laughs> world. That's just what it makes me think of. Oh, I missed that. All right, so only do the heavy attack if they are running straight at you, guys. Your character does not turn well while mid-heavy attack. Uh, can I make this jump here? Because there's a couple of fiber. I feel like I can. I'm going for it. Barely. Oh, we barely made that. That's scary. I think this is, yeah, this is where I crossed earlier, too. So, yeah, it makes sense that I can cross back. Look at that. Once we cross this water, we find a bunch of fiber and wood right away. It's like it was meant to be. All right. more wood and I'm not so worried about resin I have a whole bunch of resin let me just ignore that the, the resin everywhere I don't need to worry about that man look at this there's fiber everywhere here this is great I made the right call coming back this way Beautiful. Oh, hey, a bolt. Or a screw, rather. <laughs> a bottle cap as well. Is that a dragonfly, I see? Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Hold on. There's more screws over here. Something that's a little bit weird when it comes to commands is they don't seem to overlap so well in this game. If you try to run and pick up an item at the same time, the game just kind of doesn't like it, like it's too many inputs or something. Something I've kind of noticed here playing this today. A whole bunch of fibrous material. Gorgeous.
I actually remember this area from when I first ran down this way looking for the elder. I took a wrong turn. Okay, more ants. Yeah, it is a dragonfly. Look at that. Something tells me that's not going to be easy to fight. The storm approaches. Seek shelter. Okay. Okay, Hearn's a little far away. I can actually feel the rumble of that in my headset. Alright, we're gonna go chill over at Hearn's place until this passes. Need to go this way. Wait, there's water in the way. I'm going the wrong way. Oh man, the storm is gonna hurt. Where are you, Ernest? Ernesto? go through here. Of course, this might be shelter enough here. There's an owl. Alright, I see it. We're safe. We're safe. We're fine. We're good. Let me grab some fibers. Ooh, the lightning. I give you a pretty decent amount of time. I bet you if you're fast enough, you could just make a small shelter really fast. He's got the padded and life's, uh, light stuff. That's right. Let's see what this says. Make sure to eat and drink regularly. Yeah, we already know that. Armor provides protection against different types of damage. It can also keep you warm in cold weather. That's the thing, too, is I do have the padded set, so I should be able to remain warmer longer. You see the comfortable meter drop down a little bit when I walk out here. Yeah, now I'm cold. I go back in here. Now it's going back up. Ah, there it goes. So it's kind of cool to have little world events like that where, you know, the, the weather happens and there's nothing you can do about it aside from take shelter until maybe later on you'll find some stuff that you can, uh, you know, guard yourself against it. Like, like we have padded armor now. Maybe we can find something even better for it later. Yeah, look at all this fiber. There's so much fiber here. So much of it. All right, how much do we have? I have 42. That's not enough. I need fiber for other things as well, so I gotta keep it going. I'm just gonna keep farming it in the area. We'll also fight anything that comes our way. I am curious to see if we can take on a grasshopper now as well. Considering the sword is actually kind of great. My god, it's everywhere here. Also in need of recipes that will allow me to maintain my nourishment better. I get six per thing right now, and that's just not enough. 
burn through it so quickly that it's just become a problem before too long again. Are you guys aggressive? I'm curious. They look like m moths, but... Oh, it's a butterfly. Okay. I'm sorry. Dropped a bunch of insect eggs there. Please don't hate me for shooting the butterfly, okay? I just I just didn't know what it was. Yeah, it was... Yeah, I, I know. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Don't judge me. Do not cast your judgments. Alright, where'd those insect eggs go? Nice. Nice. Okay, uh, this is where we saw the dragonfly earlier. I'm gonna take some shots at it. I still have 25 arrows, so we're pretty good there. It's about to be nighttime, but that's okay. Sir, I am curious about your potential here. Come here. Damselfly. Come here. There you go. Okay, insect wings. Another lymph. And we found an insect egg out of it, too. Honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. I think we go ahead and... Try to make a bit of shelter somewhere around here. I know there's a bunch of ants that spawn in this area, so that's kind of problematic. That's the thing, too, is like trying to find a spot to make a place to live is kind of problematic just based on the fact there's so many bugs that spawn everywhere. It seems like you're always going to be in between some. You're never going to be truly safe. We can go all the way up this, I think. If it'll let me, I'll just build right on top of this. Though, based on the torches, it might already be occupado. Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as a kind of divinity. Idol statues and decorations are crafted in their honor. Oh, you mean this stuff? <laughs> nom nom nom. There's a giant owl statue. Now, uh, question. Can I build up here? Is it possible? Building. Floor. No structural support. Collision. Yeah, okay. That's a negative. We cannot build here. We shall not build here this day. I almost just kind of sent it right off that. Let's not do that. These are edible mushrooms. Need wood, wood hatchet or better? Oh, there it is. Say, I do have a wood hatchet. Oh, that's a... That's a grasshopper of the night. I didn't even see him there. Sir, where did you go? Oh. <laughs> he's still right underneath me and he's following me. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, I see his leg, I think. Nope. Oh, there he is. Did he lose me? He did. I'm going for this. Wish me luck. No biting. 
Okay, didn't mean to fall there. That's distressing. Okay, I think he just went all the way around. <laughs> yep, he sure did. Only a seven? Seven damages? Pathetic. Oh, we found a cheesy spot. Very cheesy. You can't run away now. Okay. All right, some chitin. Okay, those guys have a lot of health. Those guys have a fair bit of health. That's kind of scary. A little bit scary. But hey, we got them. Grab all this edible mushroom while we're here. Okay. Are these also edible? Nope, those are poisonous. The orange glowing ones are edible. Here's something making noise up here. I forgot to bring out the torch, sorry. So, we've done a lot of great stuff today. We've done a lot of great stuff. We found some materials to harvest. We fought some grasshoppers. Some bull ants some dawn ants on our way to making some uh some stone armor so we can handle things on the beach i'm also going to look forward to making the ladybug thing maybe we can befriend a ladybug just gotta figure out what they like in the meantime we take all the mushroom When food is this free, you have to take advantage of it. You just have to make sure that you're stockpiled so you don't have to worry about it so much on other other reserves. Like we're out of strawberries already, for example. So the next major objective for now is not getting killed by Dawn Ants. Uh, I wish you would stop doing that. Oh, and a bull ant too. That's not very nice. Am I dead? Nope, I made it. And you made it too. <laughs> I got so sad because they made it over too. Oh, God. All right, I can put the torch away. Made it through the night. Oh, man. Nighttime is scary, man. You take one wrong step, and all of a sudden you're being swarmed by ants. Let's get our food game up again. I'm curious if it scales. Like, if I just were to fill this up, if it'll just regen faster. I have my doubts on that, but... All right, let's see. So that's where my spawn is. That's where I uh, built some stuff earlier. That bed. And we do have to do that rhinoceros beetle thing down there. But I don't want to make a house there because it it's kind of like there's, it seems like there's stronger stuff down that way. I need to find a place I can just truly build and not worry. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of that here. Let me head back to the west towards Kalev. That's the guy that's going to build us our stone armor. I'm 
so glad we can make that jump. Yeah, these ants right here are back already, too. This is what I mean. Like, if I were to build a place right here, I'd have to deal with them constantly. Sir, nice dodge. Nice dodge, buddy. All right, there's bees here. The bees. So Kalev is just up this hill here. So I think we're going to try to build somewhere around here. I think that's our next major objective. That's what we have to do. Just got to make it happen. I wonder if there's a system in place where if I build somewhere, maybe it'll, like, interrupt spawns in the area. I've, I've doubts on that, too, but who knows? Where's my stuff? Is it over here? Yes. All those repairs. All right, I don't have a whole lot of space for anything here. Let me do this before we go anywhere. Collision with what? Alright, let's put the beetle heart away. Ant heads. Oh, I think there's some in the other chest, actually. Same with those. Honey crumbles. More ant heads. Oh, those are bee heads, rather. Okay. Alright, that's actually full. Let's take those. Put those in there. Take those. Put these here. Put those in there. Stack that. Stack those. Okay, let's go talk to this man about stone armor. Hello. Okay, we have enough for all of this. Beautiful. Gorgeous. We even got a mask out of it. It's got cold protection, regular protection, piercing resistance. We lose movement speed with it, though. That's the big problem here. It's actually pretty noticeable, too. But that's stone armor. That stone armor is good. Let me just put those away. Make some space around here. Okay. Now, can I build here? Let me see. Can I build here? No structural support. What does this mean? Am I doing this wrong? Maybe I need to actually... Yeah, I think I have to put down foundations first. Well, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it, guys? Well, look at that. Look at this. I'm not even sure how much resource this is making right now. Okay, uh, two, two wood, one fiber is the cost per each of those. Okay, and then we go for some wallage. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. I wish it would just kind of snap better. Yeah, the snapping of it is not very good. 
Alright, we have a little collision there, but it seems to be okay. We're gonna put the door right there by the tracks. So it looks like I couldn't build anywhere else because I need a foundation first and foremost, which that's on me for not figuring that out sooner. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, door frame. Door frame. Look at that. Look at it. How about a door? Um... I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine, man. It's fine like that. Hmm. Now, what kind of roof do we want? Oh, you know, we're not going to have enough. We're not going to have enough fiber, but that's okay because we can do that another time. We can do that later. Look at this. We're getting all fancy in here with our fibrous roof. Look at that. Look at that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Dismantle. Beautiful. It looks like it's about to storm, too. And we have insufficient material to continue on. But this is a great start. It, it is going to rain on our stuff here, but that's okay. I can get the rest of it, uh, you know, next time. That's fine. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this video. I really appreciate your company. This game is actually really fun, guys. I'm having a really great time with this. I hope you are, too. Let me know your thoughts. You know, leave, uh, leave likes and comments. Uh, dude, sp speak your mind in the comment section. You know, do it nicely. Don't tell, don't, don't tell me I suck and stuff like that. You know, that's kind of mean. But, like, what do you think of the game, right? Are you enjoying it as much as I am? This is actually really fun so far. For me, personally. I, I, I enjoy the building. It's quick. I just wish the snapping were a little bit better. I think it should have a tiny bit more range to it. So that way it's just faster. Um, and actually, I, I kind of like the style of it. The way uh, it works with the leaves here. The fibrous material. This is really nice. And I can't wait to see what else is involved with this, too. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your company. I will see you soon for more. In, in fact, you might see part three on the screen right now. If you do, click it. Continue the adventure. I'll see you there.